Lee Young and Wang Chi Lin. This was the path to the final. Lots of Chinese Taipei representatives, as you can see there. And uh, they were always guaranteed one of the finalists. And a bit of the bit of an upset in the form book here with Lee and Young beating Kang Min Kyuk and Xiu Xiong Jie yesterday, the world champions, defeated in the semi-finals in a very tight uh, last four battle. So men's doubles, uh, <laughs> no surprises. Look at that, Indonesia absolutely dominating that. But it does mean that uh, there are opportunities for those outside the top eight. So Lee and Yang come out first. And then Lee Young and Wang Chi Lin out next. So the head-to-head -head is definitely in Lee and Young's, or Lee and Wak's favour, I should say. But the most recent win has actually gone to Lee and Young, and that happened just a few weeks ago at the Denmark Open, where they won in straight games in the round of 16. So that could be quite telling, because the other meetings were last year and prior to that, 2019. So we can pretty much just scout the 2019 where Lee and Wang were probably near the peak of their powers. They met the world champs last year in the round of 32, but it is last year, this year, just last month, that uh, we should probably take a look at where they won 21-13, 21-15. That will give us a bit more of a, a better idea of where things lie. As we look at Yang Po Swan, 186 centimetres tall, just over six foot. He's 27 years of age. Li Jiahui is 29, a bit older, a bit shorter as well, 179. And uh, haven't won too many titles on the world tour, but This is their results so far. Beat the top seeds yesterday. That one has got to stand out. They have dropped a couple of games elsewhere. They were runners up at the Kaohsiung Masters this year, Hilo Open last year. Wang Chilin is 28, 188 centimeters tall. Currently 11th in the world. They were as high as number two. That was just over a year ago. Lee Young is 28, 178, a little bit shorter. These guys are also the defending men's doubles champion at the Olympics. Third at the World Champs in 2018. They've dropped one game so far against the eighth seeds. And they beat uh, fellow Chinese Taipei shuttlers Li Fangqi and Li Fangjun, the uh, Twins. Asian Games this year, just uh, last month, they got the uh, bronze. Lakpriya Edri Singer from Sri Lanka play. is our umpire, and he will be assisted by Kanki Hyun, our service judge from Korea. Yeah. So Lee and Wang together, they've won nine titles. And the most recent was uh, the Japan Open just uh, 
very recently. Looking for their first win on the HSBC BWF World Tour. <coughs> Lee and Young. Your thoughts on this one, Jeff? I think Ready? that most people would predict and Wang Chilin on my right, Lee Young being favourites. Lee Young and Wang Chilin. But in the Chinese last meeting, Taipei. that I think that will turn that on its head, actually. But based on, on my left, what we Yang could see Kuo yesterday, Swan I think Lee that Hihue, Lee Juhui and Yang Kuo Swan, they've got a really good chance here, having won Lee the last time they so met. Lee, Hihue, but also, against the Koreans last Lolo night, they were play. so good. Yeah. Lee Young gets us going. Lee <laughs> Chilin puts that away quickly. One lock. But I did have some glimpses of Liang and Wan Chi Lin's semi final. And they dominated there. So it's over. One all. So two pretty short rallies, and that's why the way I'd probably see this whole match going. Kill shots. Kill shots, high intensity yeah. stuff. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, double quick time. Two, one. Already got three points on the board. Hi. Oh. So it's over. Two, oh. Bit of confusion on that shot that Wang Chilin just scraped off the ground. So it's over. Three, two. Really, really aggressive there by Young on that return of serve. Actually. Oh, so that you got that one. Four, two. Well, this is where this is where Lee. Li Juhui and Yang Po Suan were so good yesterday against Kang and Sio in these first three. They were so switched on. That's short. Five, two. I know that. Oh, that did. That's dropped Kept in. the line. What a serve. Over. They've Three, kind of been up and down, haven't they, since five. their high of winning the Olympics, Lee and Wang? Yeah, they have. <coughs> now, I think that for them, they just need to really get in that combination of Lee Young in the net, Wang Chilin thundering those oh. smashes down from the rear court. Lee He Hui challenges called out. They do have a challenge here, though. I thought it might have been out anyway. Lee Ji Wei thought it might have been in. Let's have a look. Oh, it is in. Correction in. Service over. 6 3. Play. Seven. Three. Just really coming into the net quickly there, Lee was. So, force the error. So it's over. Four, seven. Just clipping the net. So it's over. 
Lee Jae Hui and uh, Young Po Swan in terms of finals. Uh, beat to three, won one and lost two. So it's over. Lost their last two. Eight. Cash of Masters. Earlier this year, just uh, last month actually, and Fit Burger or the Hilo Open, I should so it's say. Over. That was uh, nine, five. last year, just about a year ago. Big smash there. Lee Ji Hui. So it's over. Six, nine. Yeah, lots of really short rallies here. Another net touch from Lee Ji Hui on that returner serve. So it's over. Ten. Excellent six. drop shot there. Very much looked like he was going to thunder a smash down. Young plus one. So it's over. Seven, ten. Snatching at that one. Lee? The Ji Hui jumping a little bit too high. Li Young just hitting that a little bit lower than what Li Ji Hui was jumping to. Oh, and he had to take that a bit lower. Oh, he's not got the connection he wants. Nine, ten. Well, they've battled back quite quickly here, quite nicely. Yeah, the, um, the lead. Got absorbed very quickly, just with the speed of how these points are turning out. I don't know if the, the longest rally would probably be 10, 15 shots, I think. I think at, at the best, most. yeah. Well, so we're into the interval, and there's only six minutes on the clock. It's 11-9 to Lee and Young here in game one. Very, very quick start to this men's doubles final. So Body shot at Lee, at uh, ten, Young. 11. Wang Chilin and Lee Young have a good record in finals. They've won nine out of 14. They lost at the uh, high open though, just uh, a short while ago, last weekend. Young Boshan challenges all in. Young Boshan is challenging that. He's pointing out where he thinks it went. It is in. No, oh, it is very Person tight, but it is out. out. So it's over 12 10 play. Lian Yang still maintain their lead. So it's over 11 12. Thirteen, eleven, change. 
Lead by two here. They've maintained their lead pretty much uh, throughout. So it's over. 12, 13. Since uh, it was two all, it has been Lee and Young in front. So it's over, 14, 12. This is positively slow play, uh, Jeff. <laughs> it's been uh, a couple minutes since the interval. Slightly longer rallies. So it's it's just full intensity, 13, isn't it? Yeah. There's 14. not much giving away of the lift if any team can help it. And it's just a game really about shot quality. So if they can get good shot quality on. Oh. So it's over. And they're likely to win the rally. 15, 13. But these, are the, these are the kind of matches that can be quite frustrating to play as a player. Because right. sometimes it doesn't even feel like you get into the game at all and it's already 15-13 and you feel like you've barely hit any shots. Just because each rally is just so short. Oh, just dropped it a little shorter there. So it's over. Liam. 14, 15. <laughs> Nicely taken there. Such a steep shot. This one right here just came back down so quickly into the ground. Leung is so dangerous at the front court. Eight. Fifteen all. Wow, they haven't been tied as I said since it was two all. So it could be Lee and Wang now looking to take the lead. Hard to adjust yourself in that sort of position. 16, wow, 15. Taking some crouch defense shots. Just look at that. And then taking the initiative and moving forwards there. A little net touch there to upset the timing a bit of their opponents. Taking the lead at a good moment here, Lee and Wang. Oh, it's, it's out. out. So it's over. 16 off. And I was saying about those really short rallies as well. It Sometimes because if you've got the lead of two or three points, then that can, uh, can basically be gone <laughs> within less than 10 shots in total. Oh, they're back in front, Lee and Young. 17, 16. I'm noticing that, the, that Lee Jiehui and Young Po Swan, they are channeling quite a bit of the attack to Wang Chilin. In general, I feel like they're trying to put more pressure on him rather than Lee Young in a defensive position. I think that's a 18, pretty good tactic because Wang Chilin 16. is very good, but he does get a little bit cramped around his body, just like on that shot there. You can direct it directly into his body sometimes. He's a tall man, long arms. It's hard to take those body shots sometimes. It's a great return of serve, though. Yeah, brilliant from uh, both so Wang and Lee on that one. 17, 18. Disguise, look at that. Oh, even though I was running backwards, and I'm just sitting here. <laughs> What's incredible is that so over, this is a really tight first 19, game, and we're only 30 minutes into it. Normally, when you've when you're at the end of a game, it's something like you know, 
19 five six but it's been really fast that sets up three game points for Lee and Young game point 17 watching then watch you been looking like he's struggling a little bit here and game. That's a, such a good third shot again so good and what should be crammed up so excellent work from lee and young perhaps might be a little bit of a surprise but they've taken that first game 21 17 in the men's doubles final here at the 2023 guangzhou career masters What do you make of that first game, Jeff? Fast and furious. Second game. <laughs> Fast and furious. Love all. But play. Fiji Huey. This one. I know you were very impressed with him yesterday. I think they, their, their shot One quality and their ability block. to yeah, get the shuttle blow in that level. I, I, I sound like a bit of a broken record, but that is so <laughs> important like in these games where both pairs don't want to give the initiative away. They don't want to just lift it. So it's over. They're always challenging One in the front all. and the mid court. I think they've just been better at that today. But we know that Wang Chi Lin the young can do that so well. But Two, I don't feel that they're one. on today. It's a bit of a uh, different dynamic between those two players as well. Great shot there. Three, one. Young plus one just stepping in that off backhand so it looks like it's going straight. And he drives it quickly cross court. He's done that quite a bit here in Korea. Four, one. Yeah, good start again. Ian Young. I think Wang Chilin is struggling here a little bit. Just maybe in confidence. He's made quite a few errors. Oh, again, snatching so at that. We saw that earlier, didn't we, from him? Two, four. Just a broken string there, hitting right near the top of the frame there. Another string so over. this time. Five, Young plus one. Two. The broken string. Great follow up here. 
could say it's a bit of a lucky net cord, but he was in the perfect position to play that shot anyway. One of the first open rallies that we've mm. had, and by open Ooh. I mean just Two. using more of the full court instead of just driving and playing and playing kind of down and flat. But unfortunately, just the, the one instance where Wang Qilin gets the smash, he has made an error into the net. And that was the longest rally there, 22 shots of the match. That was nicely there. Seven, four, three, six. Great follow up there by Lee Young. I think he's got to be the one to step up if they want to have a chance in this match. Seven, four, yeah, they're still seven, trying to maintain this four three. points or so, the lead, Lee and Young. By the way, we talk about quick matches. Uh, Nine, three, change. Jeff, and the last <coughs> one they played uh, at the Denmark Open, which was only last month, took just 29 minutes. 21 15, 21 15, 21 13, 21 15. So about nine minutes away from that. I don't think this is going to be done by then. Well, I don't know, actually. Six-point lead. Let's see. I think that just shows the, the game style of both these Chinese Taipei pairs. So like, this is very much their game style to nine. have the upper hand and, and finish the rallies off within that first few shots even, or less than ten quite often. Five, nine. Yep, good power there being shown. Great shot by Wang Chilin there, opening up the the court to get the lift for his partner Liang to smash. Oh. So it's over. Ten, five. And yet another really solid service return there, causing the error. Oh, Tweeter. Oh, great defending. Going. And that was called out. Wang Chilin challenges for out. Wang Chilin's challenging that, but... I thought someone actually had touched it, but... That's not what's uh, being discussed here. It's a line call, of course. If they go, if they win this point... Well, well that's in. it. They, they were in real trouble there. Yeah, yeah, they almost got out of it. Connection in. So it's over. Six, ten. Yeah. Yeah. So Li Yang, Wan Chilin, they need a runner point yeah, here yeah. so that they're in striking distance before the mid game interval. attack there from Lee Young. The 
wonder it was 9-3. So it's over 11-7 interval. But uh, Lian Wang have fought back a little bit. Lian Young, though, are leading 11-7 and already one up, having taken the first game. right after the interval for Lian Wang. Where, where is it falling a little short for you at the moment? So it's over 12, 8. Sorry, just to uh, finish that question. Where do you think Lee and Wang have fallen a bit short so far today? I just think they're being beaten in the flat game where usually they're, they're winning. So it's over. Like when I remember watching Nine, them at 12. the Tokyo 2020 games. Of course, that was in 2021. But they were just unstoppable. Like even against the daddies, Henry Seti one, yeah. Hamada Sun, they just dominated that area. But I've been so impressed with Lee and Young. They've been able to take that game away from them. Just narrowed that lead Ten. to two now. Good. Lee and Wang. Stepping in there by Wang Chilin on that one there. Yeah, Wang Chilin really struggling on that defense, especially around that right 30, hip, right leg area. That's, that hasn't been the first time where they, that smash has been directed right there. And of course, if we're noticing it, they're definitely noticing. They're definitely noticing that. Again, same thing. That exact spot there. He's really struggling with that Wang Chilin. Really good vision by Li Jihui there on that one there. It's almost identical, isn't it? Yeah. To like point. There's a target right on that <laughs> right leg. Let's aim for it. The thing is, when you're Wang Chilin, you know. I'm sure he knows. He can feel it, and he's probably expecting it but sometimes that still doesn't make it easier to hit that shot. Oh, great, great oh, angle. Sheer power. So it's over 11-14 change. Lee Young happily <laughs> seeing that drift out. Just two points now. Oh, oh quick service return. So it's over. For Richard Huey. 15, 12. Not quite enough depth on that one. 
similar smash position again. That's so out. it's over 13, 15. So it's over. Now back to three. 16, 30. Jihuei. Huge power. So it's over. 14, 16. Succession of these really short points again. 29 minutes now gone. That was the duration of the last match they played with each other. This may not be quite as... that one there. <coughs> not finishing off. So it's over. 17, 14. Now moving 18, up to 18. 14. Problems here for Lee and Wang. Not happy. Well, mm. 19. He's made far 40. more of the unforced errors, hasn't he? He's really feeling the pressure here, I think. side of Li Juhui. Pull one back. 16, 19. Li and Wang, not far away. Li and Young know they want to finish this off. This attack from Liang Wang Chu in. 17, 19. Two points in it now. That's definitely their strongest formation when they're in attack. With Wang Chu in at the back. Dive. It's just gone long. Jihui and Young Force One have really impressed me. Absolutely. Three. Yesterday and today. 20 match point. Three championship 17. points now for Lee and Young. Oh. Almost an outright <laughs> winner. <laughs> I can almost taste it. Oh, well, that is what a time for that to happen. 19, Huge smash 20. there. 
and in that point he was able to take one off that right leg in defence, Wang Chilian. Good finish. Just the one championship point remaining. Oh. And that one's good, but they are good. What do you feel? I think that landed in. And <laughs> Leon has a, a shrug Shruck. of the shoulders and a smile because I think he's quite hopeful that that's landed out on the Hawkeye system, but I don't think so. Hopeful at best, as you say. Big moment. Kind of takes away from the victory, doesn't yeah. it? When you're waiting like this. Yeah. Here it is. It's in. It is right on the line. Excellent win. Only the second Game. ever title for Li Jiehui, a young Paul Swan since the China Masters in 2019 on the World Tour. They now have two. And uh, they played very well, didn't they? They were good value. Yeah, well, they were seen at second coming to this, Li Yang and Wang Chilin. And they were looking to repeat the feats of uh, previous years. When they won this in 2019 to become the first foreigners to win twice here. Li Yang and Wang Chilin win this one in straight games. And a fine performance from them. And that's two wins in a row now in the space of a month and a bit. Two quick wins as well. Yeah, that would do so much for their confidence. And now for the uh, final award ceremony of the day for the men's doubles final.
presented by Mr. Kim Hyun-gil, President of Badminton Korea Association. So your finalist there for the men's doubles, the 2023 Guangzhou Korea Masters, and uh, our winners, Li Jiehui and Yang Po Suan of Chinese Taipei, the third seed. Fantastic to beat uh, the world champions and the Olympic champions, actually, on the way to winning the title. Yeah, what a great result for them. This could also be another breakthrough for them as well. Build the confidence moving forward. So that brings things to an end and we just look back at the results here at the 2023 Guangzhou Korea Masters uh, with a superb win there for Seo Suk Jae and Che Yu-jung, the world champs, winning it in front of the Home crowd, they won in straight games, only 33 minutes against Jiang Zhenfang and Wei Yashin, the second seeds from China. Uh, this one had a real feel of a banana skin, didn't it? But Kim Gowen eventually beating Tomoka Miyazaki. Yeah, that was a, a, a nerve-wracking one, I think, one for Kim Gowen and the local fans here, but good to see that she was able to pull through. But I'm really looking forward to seeing Miyazaki in the future. She's only 17, and I think that She's got a really bright future ahead of her. Into the uh, women's doubles, Jongna and Kim Hai Jung. They were pretty comfortable overall against Rui Hirokami and Yuna Kato, the fifth seeds from Japan. Uh, but there's no doubt, is there at all, Jeff, about the big story for today. Kento Momoda coming away with his first title in a couple of years. Really good to see him back on court. Watanabe did have a really good run in that second set after being down a lot, but great to see Momota being able to win these titles because where everyone is hoping, well, a lot of people are hoping that this is a start of something new for him. And finally, we've just seen the uh, men's doubles. Uh, what a win there for Li Jiehui and Yang Po Suan, the third seeds from Chinese Taipei. They beat fellow Chinese Taipei. The second seeds are uh, Li Yang, Wang Chilin, the Olympic champions. They beat the world champions in the semi-finals. Uh, this was a huge result for them. Just their second ever HSBC BWF World Tour title. So those are your results here at the Korean Masters. Uh, the calendar, it's almost over. Only a few more events to go. The Japan Masters next week in uh, Kumamoto followed by the China Masters in Shenzhen. Then we've got the side Modi International, and it all culminates at the HSBC BWF World Tour Finals in Hangzhou, China, on the 13th of December. People scrambling for points now, the players, to nail down those places in the finals. Well, we hope you've enjoyed all the action that we've brought to you here. Very, very quick final thoughts here, Jeff. 
think it was a, a great career Masters 2023 with some upcoming stars, I think, uh, especially in the women's singles. Miyazaki, I'm looking forward to seeing her and some good results from the Koreans as well at home. Thank you very much, Jeff Toe, for joining us over this weekend. From Misha Zadak and the rest of our team, thanks a lot for joining us. We'll see you next week in Kumamoto.